In the heart of Avernus, where the air reeked of sulfur, and the ground trembled with infernal rage, an elite sisterhood thrived. They were the Crimson Vipers, a clandestine unit forged in the crucible of damnation. Their mission? To serve the fallen Archangel Zeriel, the very ruler of this accursed lair of the Nine Hells. Each member of the Crimson Viper bore the mark of their twisted origins. They were a motley crew, drawn from the darkest corners of existence. Solaria, the fallen paladin. Once a beacon of righteousness, Solaria had forsaken her oath. Her armor now bore the scars of countless battles, her sword dipped with demonic ichor. Her eyes, once filled with divine light, now held a steely resolve. Lysandra, the blood drinker. Lysandra was no ordinary vampire. Her fangs were stained with the blood of angels. Her ethereal beauty masked a predator's cunning. She moved silently through the shadows, her crimson eyes ever watchful. Morrigan, the temptress, succubus. Morgan's allure was her deadliest weapon. Her wings, once feathery and celestial, now bore the taint of hell. She whispered sweet promises to her enemies, ensnaring their souls even as her dagger found their hearts. Raziel, the devilkin warlock. Raziel, packed with her fiends, granted her power beyond mortal comprehension. Her horns curled back from her head, and her skin shimmered like molten gold. Her eldritch spells tore through human ranks, leaving smoldering corpses in their wake. Zarya, the fiery tiefling. Zarya's infernal lineage manifested in her flaming hair and eyes. She wielded twin scimitars, their blades etched with ancient ruins. Her laughter echoed across the battlefield as she danced amidst the chaos. Kayla, the prime material warrior. Kayla was the anomaly, a moral warrior who had stumbled into Avernus. Her armor bore no demonic sigils, but her heart burned with vengeance. She fought with a primal fury her battle cries echoing defiantly across the abyss. Their tactics. The Crimson Vipers exploited their beauty as a weapon. Male demons, blinded by desire, hesitated when faced with these beguiling warriors. It was then that the Vipers struck their blades swift and without mercy, but their true purpose lay deeper. Zaril had whispered it to them in the darkest hours. Frogy's offspring. Breed warriors who will inherit our pride. And so, beneath the blood-red moon, the vipers sought out willing male captives. Their union birthed half-fiend children beings who'd grow up in the crucible of war, ready to face the unending hordes of demons. The Battle for Avernus. The vipers fought alongside Zarya's legions, their prowess unmatched. They carved through demon ranks, their eyes aflame with purpose. Amidst the chaos, Solaria glimpsed a vision, a world free from infernal tyranny. She wondered if redemption awaited her beyond the blood-soaked fields. And so, the Crimson Vipers danced on the edge of damnation, their beauty a curse, and their blades a salvation. In the heart of Avernus, they forged their legacy, one that would echo through the ages, even as the abyss threatened to consume them all.